Scott Spears, and we're in a local restaurant here in Marion, Ohio, talking with a man who you certainly know from the wrestling business, but did you know he's one of the great cooks of the world? So much, in fact, that he has written a cookbook, Ox Baker's Cookbook, a tribute to the fallen warriors. You'll want to pick this up anywhere you can get it. Uh, Ox, how can you get this book? Well, I go all over the country, and every show I have a bunch of books with me. I can even take your address down, and if you want a book with a certain signature, I can send it to you through the mail, you know. But generally, I, I'm at the matches, I always have six or eight books. I'm always ready to sell one of my books, and uh, I'm always ready to tell the fans, which we're going to see tonight, one of the reasons we're here, I'm going to show you the waffles I made for Jerry Miller for a year. And he said, Ox, I never really liked you that much, but I always loved your French toast. <laughs> we're going to get into this French toast in a second, but Ox, I do want to touch on this. When did you become a cook? Well, when did this start? Well, what happened when I was over in uh, New Zealand, the matches always lasted till 10, 10, 15. Well, they closed the restaurants up at 9 o'clock. So a lot of times when we finished up with the matches, there was nowhere to go to eat. So what we do, we buy food ahead of time and take it to our motel because they always had a stove in every motel that you... And at first it was like this guy would make a stew, this guy would make a hash. I would make my scrambled eggs. I'd make... And pretty soon it got so every night I was the designated cook. I like that because a lot of times we take in $35, I'd only spend $28 for the food, and the other $7 I'd stick in my pocket. So I was making a little money, and my food was always well accepted because uh, when you try to feed six or eight guys, you have to get enough stuff where everybody gets fed well. And of course, uh, I always told them if the, you, you want a beverage on the side, that's up to you. But if you want a wine, give me some money for wine. And uh, I, <laughs> I was in New Zealand for six months, and I did. I went over to Australia, and some of the guys heard me about that. The restaurants were open, but they said, "Ox, we still like your kind of cooking." And like the giant, he would have loved my salmon patties. I'd make him a three-pound salmon patties for the giant, and he'd sit up there and we'd play cribbage and he'd eat his salmon patties. Cause he always said. Ox, don't ask for any of my salmon, Patty. I got a sandwich for you. you know? so that's how I got to it. It was just uh, uh, almost out of necessary, and I got good at it, and I like to do it. And, and over the years, uh, like if you scramble eggs 50 times, they're a lot better the 50th time than the first time, right? And maybe it's something as lousy the first time you change or you add seasoning because everybody has something different. Like at the table, I always had four or five different mustard, ketchup, this kind of sauce because everybody eats different and you had to take care of them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to bring this up, while Ox here. Look at this picture of this guy on the back of the book. Look at that guy. Ox Baker right there. This book is packed full uh, with some of Ox Baker's most delicious recipes. Right. And i got to tell you, the book was created because in my lifetime, I have seen between 150 to 270. They're a legend in the business, but they're all dead now. So the books that I write about... All the guys that I wrestled, they passed on. I don't want the wrestling fans to ever forget these guys. Like, a guys tell me the other night, I didn't realize that was Bobo Jr. I didn't know. I said, you never seen Bobo Brazil, but 
Noble Junior, you see, and I said, I got recipes for them. In fact, just right now, I'm making uh, recipes. Uh, I'm doing a second book. I'm making recipes for uh, Captain Lou Albano. I'm making recipes for the Macho Man. I'm making recipes for a couple. Uh, the Undertaker's uh, Paul Bear, I'm making recipes up for them. And when my new book comes out, it's going to be 75 people, and I'm even going to include some of the women I've seen over the years. I'm going to include some of the uh, tag team guys I've seen over the years. And the main thing I want to do in my next book, uh, nobody has done this, I want to put in six or seven managers because in my business, without the managers, Rassing when it went downhill a long, long time ago. I agree 100%. Ox, let's take the hat off for this. I want to see oh, the excuse me. Uh, everybody likes to see the fantastic eyebrow. Yes. 1970, a uh, guy come up to me and says, Ox, you can't get the people mad at me because you got the most beautiful eyes in the world. So how about getting them eyebrows up and that beard down? And when you say, I love to hurt people, you got that look on your face. And so in 1970, I started the mustache and the eyebrow, and they say, when you think about ox making, you think of the vicious eyebrows. 44 years later, they're still there. And look at this. Look, ox even markets his own aprons. <laughs> Chef Ox says, and, shut up and eat. Yeah, and believe it or not, I made these over 20 years ago. I put them down in my basement into a box. Forgot I had them the other day when I was cleaning them. I, I run in the box. I was, <laughs> this is a collector's item. This is something that's 20 years old. If you want to use it, fine. But if you just want to use it for a collection piece, that's a very good deal. Ox maker. And what I do is nowadays when you buy them, one of my cookbooks, you get a free apron. Right. Well, it's, it's a beautiful thing here. Now, Ox, I'm not very handy in the kitchen, so here I'm going to read the recipe. You're going to help me out here. This is very, you can improvise. This is what you used to do. Get a hot plate and do your business, right? Well, yeah. Uh, what it is, uh, uh, you almost have did it so many times. It's like my uh, 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 waffles here. I know that I have to take uh, these eggs, you know, and put them in there. And uh, you, Three eggs. Yeah, three. Uh, gen generally, uh, uh, Yeah, the chicken said it ain't worth the wear and a tear on my rear end, you know. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I'd make my scrambled eggs, and I, I would do a dozen of these at a time. And, of course, you got to mix the eggs up, you know what I mean? Your, your normal spatula. Yeah, you a normal spatula. You usually have a... And, uh, yes. And then after you've done that, you've got to add the ingredients. Wait, Ox, well, cardinal mistake, of did we preheat the oven? Oh, yes. Skillet. We are preheating. Is it preheating? I don't know. Do we I, I don't want to touch. touch. We want to touch that and see if it's preheating. We have an audience here. We don't want this. Do you want to lick it? I don't think we're on there, are we, Ox? No, we're not on. No. We've got to preheat that thing over there. What should you preheat for waffles, Ox? Okay, uh, we're going to do this sort of... Uh, I I want medium. I wouldn't want a heavy heat, but uh, I can't see Let that. Let me see here. We forgot Ox's glasses. Let's see. Here. Yeah, would you put that on the uh, heavy? Yeah, we were on. Uh, we want to be about 400, 300. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a strange. At, at the same time, I know with my uh, eggs. Uh, uh, what what is this milk you have in here, by the way? I, 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 whole milk. Okay. Right from the cow. Uh, I, I can't get that off of there. I don't want to spill it. Would you take that off of there? I can, I can put, do that. Are we, are we getting any heat over there on our... Uh... Uh, the, time we, uh, the time I explain things here, well, okay, here's the milk. The milk. Okay, and what I always did was, I, and I'm going to do it tonight because I don't change. I put that in there with the eggs, you know, and what I generally do is I always leave a swallow for myself. You're not much on majoring, are you there, Ox? <laughs> Leave the majoring cups uh, at home. The, the, the idea when you're cooking for eight, nine, ten guys, you can't uh, <laughs> go by the measuring cup. It's only my secret ingredient that I put in there. Right? And uh, You got uh, three eggs in and two and a half eggs on the table, so yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, where we go here. 
And as you put there, you, you look at the, it's, so I don't have a spoon, but so I'm gonna. Uh, no, wait, that's the powder. I don't think we put the powdered sugar in yet, do we, Ox? The, that's, that's powdered sugar. We have, oh, that's cinnamon. You like cinnamon, right? Oh, yeah. Cinnamon, you gotta put a little cinnamon there. Yes, sir. Three tablespoons. Uh, <laughs> it, it looks like two tablespoons, two and a half. It's almost three, three, you know. Save a little for later. And what is this here, sir? That's granulated sugar. Uh, you need two uh, tablespoons it, of that. Yeah, well, you gotta. Uh, so many diabetics, you uh, always cut back on the sugar. You must. And, and again, you mix that all up, and you hope that uh, we turn that uh, fry pan on earlier. How's it doing? I, I'm not feeling very hot here right now. Ox, you keep talking. Hey, let me keep talking. We're gonna get uh, the electrician going here on this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> Just shoot around me here. See, this is what any good cook will tell you. You must have an oven that works. There's a lock on. What do we got here? Maybe we blew a breaker. Who knows? Try to try the other plug down there, Ox. Could you? Huh? Try the other plug. See if we're getting any power in there. Oh, that. Uh... You, you get them cheap assistants. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Good help is hard to find. Yeah. You, you can spell the cinnamon for weeks. We got, uh, we got a, what was a lock on? Let's see, let's try to release. Is it doing anything at all? Oh, you think it'd do something here. I hope there ain't a power shortage in this town. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Did you feel anything? I don't feel anything there yet. Keep on stirring, Oscar. Yeah, we will would... find a, uh, we need to do a preheat here. Very important. Now, Ox, tell, while we're trying to fix the oven here, tell us about Jerry Miller, where this waffle recipe Well, Jer Jerry Miller Wait, was That a... don't look delicious. Yeah. Jerry Miller was a second cousin of mine, and he got into wrestling before I, he was called Gentleman Jerry Miller. And, uh, he heard that I got married and I had a lot of bills, and uh, I was a butcher in them days, and I was only making about 60, 70, 80 cents. He said, oh, I'm making a couple hundred dollars a week as a wrestler. And I said, oh my Lord, I said, you never could be me in wrestling. I mean, uh, I used to pin you 15 times in 10 minutes. He said, yeah, I said, uh, uh, you're 100 pounds heavier than I am, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, now tell me about your days as a butcher, Rox. You've never talked much about that. Well, uh, in Waterloo, Iowa, where I was from, there was John Deere's Tractor Works, and there was Rat Packing Company, and uh, the families were divided. If you didn't work at the John Deere place, you worked at the butcher shop. Well, I tried to get a job at John Deere's, and uh, unfortunately, uh, they didn't hire me. So I became a butcher, and I wasn't really a good one because I, I was a little bit scared of knives, so I... Uh, <coughs> we're moving now, Otto. Is it moving now? Oh, we're moving now. Okay. Now, do we preheat to, to 200, 250, 300? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's... In the meantime, I can undo my bread because uh, you can't make French toast without bread, you know what I mean? No, no, that's it. Key I mean, ingredient, toast. Yeah. Well, I tell you, Ox, just sitting here in the kitchen reminiscing with you, you know, this is what life's all about. Well, the, the idea is I tell the people when I sell my cookbooks, I tell them my cookbooks, my recipe, have to work or the book is free. And after I sell over 3,000 of them in 11 years, nobody's ever returned one of my books because my recipes all work. Like my uh, chili has won contest in two or three states. My meatloaf is uh, won contest in, in my stews. Uh, I, it was funny about the stews. I used to have a bunch of wrestlers. Some were Italian, some were German, some were Polacks. And uh, I would make one stew for the Polacks, one stew for the German, one stew for the Irish, you know. 
What's it's funny? It was the same stew. What's your feeling on the heels, Ox? Do you like the heels and the bread? <laughs> I always felt the heels were very good. Well, uh, the heels have always been guys over the years. The, you always run in. You can see that's uh, the, the, now that's going to be a nice piece of toast. Yeah, we'll put one Ooh, on the there. steam. Can you hear the, the sizzle? Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, Ox, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt you here, but we did not add the vanilla extract, did we? Uh, well, what you do is like uh, uh, after you put a couple on there. If you want a little vanilla extract, vanilla extract, just put that in there. Uh, you, a lot of people don't even like it. You know, some guys are so particular. Like some guys won't go out with colored women. You know what I mean? I don't know the reason. That's their own business. You know. Pollock and colored. Right? <laughs> but my stew, my stew I used to be the Pollock stew, the German stew, the Italian stew, and it was funny. It was the same stew for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you did no difference, huh? No. Well, they, 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 they never do it. They, they never knew the difference. And it was funny in them days. I was always the guy. Now we got them on there. Now, you got the, you got, yeah, we high enough on the temperature there, Ox? Are we sizzling properly? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll know in a couple of minutes because when I'm going to turn them over. And, uh, yes. Who comes and cleans up after you when you're done in the kitchen? Well, I, I, uh, uh, you're the type of guy when you're done cooking, you just move. Right? No, uh, because I take insulin shots. I, I have a caretaker, make sure I take my shots every day, make sure I take my pills every day. And uh, if they're in a good mood, uh, I pay them a little extra to clean up my... Uh, but uh, I did it for so many years, a lot of time. And the best thing to remember, ladies, is like, as you cook, clean up at the at the same time so when you finish cooking you don't have a, a big mess right and whatever you do you don't leave the dishes from one meal to another because then you got a lot of dishes if you do that two or three days you know and uh, I see some steam coming off there we, we might even turn them over and if we check now let's see how you do this this is the most important part in the kitchen ox the flip well uh, they're not, they're not quite ready. When they're ready, they, they will come up very... This is the first one I put in there. That should and, be and you know what's nice, Ox? The way you mix those up, we're going to have uh, eggs, too, yeah. with the French toast. That's very nice. Well, the, the idea of the French toast is... Uh, yeah. And you see... See how them, that, the, the, them two went over... Them were the first two I put on. And I can see I didn't saturate that one enough. So we'll move that aside, and, that's, and what I'll do is I have a fourth one. Fourth one, highly saturated. Yeah, this is one I keep for myself because I've let it saturate quite a bit. Marinate. Yeah. That's a cooking dish. <laughs> Marinate. <laughs> and there we have the French toast, you know. And I'm looking here. We lose this here. We use this here. Now, uh, if you're diabetic, and, uh, uh, you generally have a syrup that's sugar-free, but this evening we don't have sugar-free. Uh, we don't have sugar-free. But, but uh, the odd time you can uh, get by with just regular sugar, you know. And in fact, we have enough sauce here for two more. What is it? One, two, three. There's four guys here, so that's one and a half a piece, or two for me and one for the. Uh, <laughs> now, now, Ox Baker, do you have a special name for these? I mean, because you're a very verbal guy. Are these Ox Bakers French toast? What I say, my French toast is so good, even my enemies come over and eat it, right? And another saying I have is, it's like so good, they'll ask for seconds. Powdered sugar is very good, I hear. Now, a diabetic, of course, would not want to. That's very good. Yes. Delicious. Did you, you, didn't, you didn't get a paper plate for the... I didn't get a paper. Could we get a plate? Thank you, sir. And maybe a fork. Who is this guy? He's a nice guy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Whoa, that's cinnamon. Woo! <laughs> Now, can you dump cinnamon on top of these ox once they're cooking? No, 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 no,
that, that's a mistake. We've made all the correct things so far. I hate to have a mistake at this point. Huh? I hate to have a mistake at this point, I say. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, now, are those tartar? You, you know, the, uh, the French toast looks so good. I think we're going to have some. We're going to have a little bit here? Because this is what it is. You know, you're eating, you're dining, you're cooking. This is what cooking's all about. People don't do this anymore. Huh? You no. talk when you cook. Oh, no. The, uh, what they do is uh, uh, they open up a can of something, right? Dump that can in there. Oh, that, it, it horrifies me when I hear them do that. Yeah, never eat out of cans. Yeah. You, you make it homemade. Oh, I, I, the, bumper to bumper. I, the best part I even see you here, someone. Well, that smells so good. It must be something that Ox Baker cooks. <laughs> <laughs> and you're you're free for parties, right, Ox? Oh you're yeah. Cater. Oh yes. Did you? I mean, seriously. Did you ever think? I mean, you love to cook. Did you ever think of a catering business, a restaurant? God knows you got the face for it. I could see if you're a butcher. For God's sake, you'd have meat. Uh, and I do a lot of birthday parties where I go there and. Give the kids birthday. And are you guys cooking food in the lobby of the McDonald's? <laughs> no, no, no. We're okay. What do you say? Okay. As if we were cooking. If they're done right, they'll probably hire me. You know. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a practice. Yeah. And we're gonna have a outsider test one of my. You want to test one of these? Sure. And you okay. can say you ate Ox Baker's things. I think they're uh, well done at this point. <laughs> no, they're not well done. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't. When they're saturated, like it, I got them saturated, you can leave them on there a long time. There's not such a thing as burning French toast. See, if I turn it over, that's still very. I believe cooking at 600 degrees at this point. <laughs> Ah, that one's done. Yeah, I think it is done. It's a little, it's a little rough. Oh, no, 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 it's got a. No, uh, this gentleman here, we got a volunteer. The last uh, guy to volunteer, we never did see him again. <laughs> uh, He's in a dumpster in Newark somewhere. <laughs> but I tell you, you know, this is a something, Ox. You know, to have Ox Baker's French toast is a story you can tell your friends. You'll be able to eat out on this for months. Would you put a little, uh, get that syrup there? No, no powdered sugar on this ox? No, 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 not on that no, one. No, not on that one. Hey, little, <clears throat> little. It's nice to have the Muzak, too, you know? And it kind of yeah. slows down everything. Very nice citadel here. Yeah. The restaurant. And don't worry about that. The shape is not important. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get that last one in there with a... Oh. You get a fork, you need a fork. need a fork, now tell us how it is. Let, let's take a look at this first, this finished product. Let's show this. Oh, look at that right there. Ox what do you think? Is that Try looks, that out. It's a delicious Try. looking thing right there. We're serping up all that, that goodies. Because you don't want to leave any left in the bottom. Oh, no, no. No, absolutely not. How is it? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, you're like awesome. It. You're uh, like the colonel. Yeah. Awesome is the quote. Yeah. We just get you a big chef's hat off. You can be Colonel Sanders. Second coming. Well, the <laughs> second one goes to you, by the oh, way. Oh, well, I'm excited now. <laughs> and the cameraman, he's going to get the third one. He's right? going to get the third. You take the last notch, you bring up the rear. And then we used, we used all that up that we had made. How do you feel about dogs and cats in the kitchen when you're cooking up? I know you have some pets at home. Uh, the dog's place belongs with the dog, you know? Yeah. You heard don't sleep with the dogs? Let sleeping dogs lie? Yeah. I heard you had a relationship years ago with, uh, what was her name? Uh, up in Michigan? The, the big lady. What was her? Heather, <laughs> Heather Flower? Oh. Yeah, Heather Feather? Heather Feather. Heather Feather, yeah. Heather Feather. First girl, first girl to ever wrestle uh, a man, you know. <laughs> she was but, a booker, too. But, but she only uh, wrestled one guy and found out that uh, she was in the wrong ballpark. Look at this right here. Here we go, folks. You got, Did you yeah. finish that? I, I finished it. Oh, what do you, you think? It was good. It was good. That's delicious, Ox. That right there is Hall of Fame. 
I want to see you eat a piece of this. Because Heather Feather, you know, she was a, why would she, she probably tipped the scales at 400 pounds. She knew when the dinner bell rang. Right. Three something. Three something. Cameraman, you, you need one, don't you? <laughs> what a great cameraman. <laughs> and he, he does all the charge. <laughs> They are in high depth. Put, put some syrup on there, my friend. Some syrup on there. See, this is a whole, this is a, you can say you ate Ox Baker's French toast, the one and only. Yeah. Ox, do you oh, have uh, you, you know, uh, it's probably not as good as I've made in the past, but uh, we did it in quite a hurry here, and, uh, I'd say maybe we didn't have all the right ingredients that we should have had. Did you put any... Uh, no, let's dump a little powdered sugar, because that's for dressing. Bit, yeah, that, 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 that little extra. You deserved a little extra. You just tip a little there, right? I mean, you got... Yeah. Half, somebody told me one time, <laughs> half of the uh, kitchen importance is in the dressing. Yeah. That's why they put, uh, what is that, parsley on things? Yeah. Just to dress it up a little bit. There's your piece of t uh, French toast there, sir. Okay. Okay. This is with the powdered sugar. You know, you just you're dining in. You're having a wonderful time. You're what do you think? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I, you know, what what do you think that makes your French toast different than somebody else's? Well, uh, I hate to say this, but uh, if you make the French toast with tender, loving care, it comes out that way. Tender, loving care. That's what Heather Feathers said. That's how she said. That's how you made it for her. <laughs> Let me try one of these he's, myself. He's speechless. <laughs> I've never known that to happen. I'm not speechless. I, I'm going to try one myself. That's what I... <laughs> she never went a waffle she didn't like. Yeah. Or a French toast. <laughs> Heather Feather, folks, look that up on the Can internet. you believe in the middle of uh, uh, McDonald's? Here we are. Partaking. Unheard of. Thank God they've sterilized the silverware. Yeah, it's the same stuff I got in jail. This kind of stuff. <laughs> you went to prison, right? There you go. Oh, oh, huh? I'm gonna pay myself the greatest compliment that I, I can get. Is like as good as Ma used to make. Ah, uh, Ox, did your mother teach you how to cook? She was a great cook. And she, she could only seen what I could do. Did she live to an old age? I thought you were you're trying to lead up and she die after one of my meals. No, oh, I, I don't know. I wasn't going to lead into that, Ox. That Polak stew did her in. <laughs> what do you think of that? I, I love it. Now, folks, you are going to want to get this cookbook because there is not just French toast. There is, hey, you killed it. Whoa. Yes. You killed Ray Gunkel and you named a recipe after him? Well, uh... Holy Moses. One of the fallacies in the business was, uh... Ray Gunkel broke my wrist. Overexerted himself when he went to the dressing room. I'm laying in the dressing room with a broken wrist and I said, you better get out of here. He just had a heart attack in the dressing room and died. Is, uh... Oh, what was the other guy? Uh, Alberto Torres. Oh, is he in here, Rox? Yeah. Do you have Alberto Torres uh, Latin stew? Mm. Oh. Brute Bernard? Oh, yeah. Pat O'Connor. Now, there's a legend. But I wanted to make a point to say, it's not just breakfast. It's not just dessert. Country fried steak. Can you oh, believe yes. that? Roast filet of beef. Fresh rhubarb pie. Tell me about, now, now, don't give me the recipe because I want to give it away for the fans because I want them to buy this book, Ox Baker's Cookbook, and then go to our website, and if they want one, I, I got to have one. a second one. Then. Oh, Ox is gone now. It's one I You need two, don't you? 17th piece of French toast there. <laughs> Did you uh, want another piece? I don't want another no, piece. It, it's delicious. Bruiser Brody, toughest man of them all. Dale Lewis, oh, yeah. Eddie Graham, Jerry Miller, Stan, Stan Stasiak, the man whose heart punch. He's he, a little yeah. different, but yeah. He, uh, when Stan Stasiak died, I had to put in there, I had to change it from Ox Baker's Heart Punch, which people thought I invented, but Stan Stasiak invented the Heart Punch. I had it 10 years before I did. It just so happened to two guys that I wrestled, uh, 
they said I he threw the heart punch at him. Uh, that, that was a fallacy. Gorgeous George, did you know him? Uh, he died actually as I was getting into business. He uh, he was originating the Georgie pins, and I want to tell you a story. The other day, one of his robes and a half a dozen Georgie pins sold for fifty-five thousand dollars. Well, gorgeous George was a unique guy, and and you know he's still remembered, and that says something mm. fifty years later. Yeah, I know it's delicious. Well, you know, and I just found your meatloaf box. Now I'm not going to give it all away, but hey, Worcestershire sauce. I've never heard that. Ox. Worcestershire sauce. Oh yes. Uh, well, you see, all my recipes like that, uh, I put in a secret ox baker recipe, which I don't tell anybody what it is. Oh, Big John Stud. Oh, yeah. Paul Bosch. Antonio Rocca. Now, people thought he was going to be bigger than he was. He kind of fizzled out at the end, unfortunately. Well, uh, actually, the wrestlers took advantage of him when he got hurt. Uh, Because Argentina Rocker could actually put an apple on your head and take his foot and cut it in two with his foot. But uh, He could take an apple on your head and cut it in two with his foot? Yeah, oh, yeah. <clears throat> now, did you ever see that done? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Was it his toenail? Or just he put that foot up there? Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a, that's a trick. I would, I would, if there was somebody around that could do that He's today. the most famous guy of his day. You heard of Argentina Rocca? No. Oh, one of the legends. Yeah. Dick Murdoch, Captain Redneck, mm -hmm. Bulldog Don Kent, Fritz von Erich. Fritz von Erich's macaroni and cheese. You gotta love that. Oh, yeah. As I said, this book, Sylvester Ritter, The Junkyard Dog. As I say, this book is so very important. And as I say, if you go to our website, Classic Championship Wrestling Marion, Ohio, if you're not lucky enough to see Ox in person, I will make sure Ox gets your address. Right. And you will send them one of these books, Ox. And, I'm and gonna... also these aprons, which are collector's items, they're all 20 years old. They're not to be used yet. It's a keepsake because the old Ox Baker had yeah. it. And this one is really a keepsake because yeah. we get everything that fell out of your... Mouth on me. Yeah. That's, a, that's a collector's item there, Ox. Uh, God bless you, Ox. You know I love you. You're, you're my favorite guy. And uh, you're in my top ten. Top ten. Yeah, right behind Ray Gunkel and Alberto Torres. Yeah. Here in the kitchen with Ox Baker. Can you beat this? And again, Ox Baker's cookbook, one of a kind. You don't want to miss this. Also, you have a lot of merchandise, Ox. Check it out. Send your address to me. Ox will get in touch with you. And you're not like a telemarketer, Ox. And if you got an old t-shirt at home, you'd like one of my pictures. I also paint pictures on t-shirts. Ten dollars a shirt. You send me the shirt. I send it back with a picture of me on it. Picture of you on it, and all kinds of other great merchandise you sell. Ox pictures, pictures that you can't get anywhere else. That's right. I tell you what. Before the fire marshal comes in and shuts <laughs> us down for this delicious meal, I want to thank Ox Baker, truly legendary wrestler. Glad to have us. With and him. thanks for one of the great cameramen of all time. He's not here tonight, but uh, <laughs> we got this guy. Ox, oh, I want to ask you something. Uh, one of your bits you always did over the years was with your teeth. Now, who was it who knocked your teeth out? Uh, yeah, that uh, was... Uh, Ronnie Garvin. Uh, a guy named Ronnie Garvin. Came to me there. I was hot on the thing. I had false teeth in them days. In fact, I still got oh, false teeth. Oh, uh, Lord in heaven. Well, somebody call the police. <laughs> But I was getting, I was getting new pair, so he knocked out my old ones. He broke them. I'm losing my voice. Good night, Ma. I love you. He knocked out his old teeth. Did you hear that, folks? So he got a new pair. Ox Baker. There's nobody like this man. I'll tell you that. Get the book. Go to the website. Uh, take care, folks. Have a good night.